much cracking with the hand down youtube man thank you guys for tapping back in showing love showing support all that good stuff don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment down under subscribe if you haven't already and as you guys can see through the title and the thumbnail i'm gonna tell you guys a little situation from when i got i actually did get my stuff taken from me and this is all factual 100 percent i'm doing this video as a response because well not a response but I did see that in the comment section of uh, a Wild Situations video, they were saying, oh, Upstate Point of View is punching the air right now. Because it turns out that the chain snatching incident was not true. He was being sarcastic. I don't watch his content enough to know that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that he's being sarcastic. So I just thought, I thought he took his L and was like, hey, you know what? This happened. It is what it is. Get your jokes in and let's keep it moving. That's what I thought. You know what I mean? Which I thought was cool. I thought it was dope that he was able to do that. It turns out he was being sarcastic, so you know what I mean? It is what it is. But now this one, this story right here, this is 100% facts. This is a, a story involving me and my brother, my older brother. So uh, we were, I want to say I was in the, yeah, I was. I was in the eighth grade going to freshman year, so it was, a, it was a summertime. I was going to summer school along with my brother. He was already in high school, though. He was, a, I, think, I think he was a junior going to senior year. So with that, with that being said, um, we had our spot, you know what I mean, where where uh, where our mom would pick us up. Only uh, this time we we told her like, well, this day we told her like, hey, you know, pick us up at the Seven Eleven because um, like we want to get our snacks or whatever before we go home. And she said, cool. So uh, our parents they wouldn't let us walk home mainly because of me because obviously they already knew what, what time it was with me they knew that it wasn't a good idea for me to walk because for me to get home where i was staying at the time was uh i had to cross through two two almost three different neighborhoods north Angeles neighborhoods i had to walk through the nine fives which is uh uh, Mount, uh mp hood where the blood used to be but it's more like northerners now um brs and kind of through uh uh what is it? Uh, I think it's Barrio East Side or, or Eastbound Locals. I, I can't remember which one it is. But, you know what I mean? It's in that direction. So, uh, they didn't want us, you know what I mean, walking home. <clears throat> because, as I said in my other videos, my very first ones, I used to get jumped a lot by the Northerners walking home when I was a lot younger. So, obviously, at that time when I was already gangbanging, then you already knew what time, what, you already knew what was going to happen. So, whatever, you know what I mean? Fast forward, uh, we're about to we're about to walk to uh to the 7-eleven and uh right there that school was right next to a middle school august boger and at that school um i went there obviously middle school you know junior high so eighth grade i was just there and i went to school with certain certain dudes that knew me and at this point when i was walking home with my brother or not walking home my bad when i was walking to uh 7-eleven there's a there's a house in front of that that middle school that uh there was like there was this girl that lived there and she was what you call a norteña i know that's not you know i mean a real thing but obviously there's girls that consider themselves that so she was what you cons consider a, a norteña she was there with her homegirl and one one dude that i don't i didn't i never knew him i i never took him as the type to you know what i'm saying like really gangbang or nothing like that i thought he was just like a I don't know how to, how to explain it, but he was just like a hang around. So I don't know if the dude noticed me or the girl pointed me out, but whatever, me and my brother were walking and uh, the dude crosses the street over to, to our side and he gets in front of us. Mind you, I forgot to mention, my brother doesn't gangbang. He's not any way, shape or form a gang member. He's more of a paisano. So, you know what I mean? He, he's a, he has nothing to do with what I got going on. So when the dude hits us up, he uh he he uh he pulls out a blade and he goes, They empty out your pockets and I'm like, Whoa, what you mean by that? You know what I mean? Like obviously I had a decision to make. I, it was either be a superhero and try to fight the dude that has the, the thing on him, the blade, and potentially get my potentially get my brother hurt or just give up my stuff, take the L and keep it pushing. So uh I remember I had a, uh, I had my phone, which wasn't even it wasn't even a working phone. It was like one of those phones that it didn't have service, but I used it for music. I had a phone. It was like those uh, those what were they called? Like uh, walk walk? No, not walk, man. Uh, 
sidekick. I don't remember what it was, man. But you would slide it up, and it had the buttons. You slide it down, and it was the music player. I had that in my, my front right pocket. I had my money in my back right pocket, which was $20. It was one ten, a 5, and 5 singles. And I remember that because I'll tell you guys right now. So I had that, and I had a blue bandana in my back left pocket. I wasn't hanging or nothing. I just had it, like, folded in my back pocket. So uh, he tells me empty my pockets. And uh, I'm like, hey, I only got, like, 20 bucks. And he's I mean, no, 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 my bad. I didn't say 20 bucks. I said I only have, like, 5 bucks. <clears throat> cause I was hoping that the uh, that I was gonna be able to like, cause you know you can feel the 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 bills kind of the the ones are more rugged, they're more like I don't know balled up. They don't they're, they don't they're not cared for as much. So I thought I would be able to feel them out. I obviously I couldn't. So I grabbed um I grabbed the the singles supposedly, and it ended up being that I grabbed the ten and the five, and I grabbed three dollars. So uh, I was left with two dollars, and when I seen that, I was like, "Damn, bro! I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking, but I just I was like, damn, you know, when I when I seen that I was gonna give him the money, I was like, all right, you know, what I mean, he got me whatever, and so I gave him the money, and he's like, uh, he's like, what else you got? And I was like, I don't got nothing else, and he was like, empty out your pocket. So he had me like open my pockets up, and uh, at this point, I'm pissed. I'm like, man, this was really like. Uh, He's testing me right now, but my brother's right here. I was like, I can't do nothing. I mean, not that I really could because, I, like I said, we were in we were in school, so we didn't have anything on us. We weren't carrying anything on us, so I was I was screwed regardless. So uh, my phone, I I pull, I pull it out, and dude takes it and he smashes it on the ground, and I'm like, ooh, all right, say less. So um, he breaks he breaks my phone. I remember it shatters. It just it breaks into two pieces. And I was like, all right, cool. I was like, I got you. Whenever I see you again, I got you. And uh, that was the end of that. That that happened. Uh, I went, we went uh, back to to uh, to 7-Eleven. Ended up having to buy snacks for my mom's money. And then going home. So fast forward to like, I think, I don't know, like a month after that. I ended up getting kicked out of that high school for something unrelated. When I got kicked out of that high school, uh... My parents ended up sending me to Mexico because I was messing up at that point bad. So I went to school in Mexico for like a month and uh, I came back. When I came back, my brother ended up telling me that that same dude tried to hit a lick on my brother as well. But ever since that happened, my brother started carrying a blade with him. And uh, so obviously the dude failed. Like he, he was like, nah, like, you know what I mean? I don't know what I can't tell you what exactly happened. I wasn't there. My brother just said that my brother pulled this out too, and it was like, all right, whatever, you know what I mean? Keep it pushing. So obviously, I took that person. I was like, all right, if you're gonna do it to me, cool, you know what I mean? I haven't seen this dude since that day, but now you're 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 messing with my family, so you know what I mean? It's up now. So uh, I never seen this dude for another like three years, right? So that situation already passed. I'm not gonna say I forgot about it, but it wasn't even in my head like that. I wasn't thinking about like, oh, I need to find this dude, nothing like that. It was already over with, or so I thought. So one day, right, like three years after, um, I had already dropped out of high school, and I was I was just cruising with one of my homies, right? We're just cruising, chilling, and I think I was already headed back home. I think he was dropping me off. It was like, I don't know, it was probably like five, four p.m. I think school was already out for the for the high school for Mount Pleasant High School, and uh, I don't think he was in school. I think he was just there, but. Uh, the, the campus was pretty much empty. I remember there was only a few kids outside. And uh, we were turning left on white. So we were coming from Ocala, turning left on white. And there's a bus stop right in front of, uh, like right by the corner by uh, Mount Pleasant High School. There was a dude sitting there. And, and you know what I mean? He obviously looked like a northerner. So just with that, we were like, like you know what I mean? Whatever, let's do this. Like, you know, you know how it goes. So when when we like uh, when we get a little bit closer i recognize the dude and i'm like wait so i told the homie i was like hey fool this fool just well not just but i was like this fool hit a lick on me a few years back and i, I didn't give him the whole story because obviously i couldn't it was just you know what i mean everything happened so quick so i told him i said hey you know what i mean this fool just he uh he hit a lick on me like a, a few years ago like you know let's get it cracking and my boy was like yeah for sure so my boy dropped me off at the at one side of the one side of the like driveway of the school, whatever, and he kind of went into the driveway and came uh, and came back out, but turned left to the towards the light. So then I don't know what like 
I, I can't really tell you how it happened because at this point I was just paying attention to the dude. But the homie, I don't know if he, he did a U-turn or whatever. But the homie pulls over in front of him. You know, I pull up, obviously walking. And I can't even really say what I said to him because obviously, you know what I mean? But I, I, I reminded him that he hit a lick on me. And I'm not going to say if I did want to back on him. I didn't, I didn't, you know what I mean? For whatever, I didn't hit a lick on him. Nothing like that. But let's just say, you know what I'm saying? I got my I got my lick back, and uh, that's just how it happened. <laughs> but yeah, man. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. Um, be careful what you do, cause people are not gonna forget what you did to them, bro. I'm telling you, that took three years to happen, and uh, it is what it is. But with that being said, man, that's the end. I'm about to work on another video for you guys. I'm trying to do this a little quicker so I could drop them consistently again. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down under. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.